In this video, we are going to learn about the most popular and vastly used managed service from AWS Cloud Platform, that is Lambda function. What is Lambda? Before getting started, let us have a look at agenda of this video. We are going to learn about serverless architecture. I will give a just brief introduction of what is serverless architecture because that is the basic principle behind the AWS Lambda function. Next, we look at what is AWS Lambda and how it works and how AWS Lambda can integrate with other AWS services. And finally, we'll discuss about why this AWS Lambda is so popular. Without delay, let's get started. Before knowing AWS Lambda function, let us know about serverless architecture. As I said earlier, serverless architecture is the basic principle behind the AWS Lambda. It is also known as serverless computing or function as a service. To say in simple words, it is a way to build and run applications or services without having to manage infrastructure. When we say serverless here, it doesn't mean that there is no server at all. There will be a server behind the scenes to run your application or a function but it is abstracted from the developer so that he can focus on building the product or developing the application without worrying about server maintenance like configurations, upgrading the patches, all this stuff. That is the reason the serverless architecture become more popular and it is adapted by almost every cloud provider. Actually, this technology is based on the concept virtualization. This means sharing a computer resources among several other independent operating systems. This enables one to use system's full capacity by distributing its capabilities among many users or environments. Now it is time to know about the Lambda. So what is Lambda? AWS Lambda is an on-demand cloud computing resource offered as a function as a service by AWS. To say in simple words, AWS Lambda is a service on AWS platform that allows you to run functions on demand basis without worrying about the underlying servers and their management. Traditionally, if you want to run in any application or run some kind of job, you need a machine to run that code and you have to worry about setup and maintenance of the server, patches, upgrading, everything that comes with that. With lambdas, this is not the case. You just need to create an instance of the lambda function and simply upload the code. The rest will be taken care of by the cloud provider. Another important feature of the Lambda function is it is very cost effective. You pay per use. You pay for only the function invocations, the duration of the function run, and the amount of the memory that you provided for the function. You can build Lambda functions using any programming language that is supported by AWS. For example, Golang page, Python, Java, C Sharp, and many more. And the computing resources that are scaled up and scaled down automatically based on real-time demands. For example, if your Lambda function is getting too many requests from the client application or from any other user, the Lambda function instances will be scaled up automatically to serve those requests. And once those requests came down, that means there are no much more requests, then automatically the extra Lambda function instances will be scaled down automatically. So this is completely done on real-time. Lambda function comes with built-in metrics and graphs through AWS CloudWatch. This includes critical metrics like latency, errors, invocation counts, and many more. Integrating these metrics with CloudWatch alarms, you can be confident in hosting machine-critical applications by having the mechanism to detect the issues and respond to them. As I said earlier, this Lambda function is designed and developed based on serverless architecture. We already seen what is serverless architecture. Let's jump into the next topic. Now we deep dive into how Lambda works internally. As a developer, you will log into the AWS console and you will upload some code for your application, which in turn you will receive a ARN identifier, which stands for Amazon resource name. This is the unique identifier that can be used to invoke your Lambda function. As an user, Using the Amazon resource name, you can invoke the Lambda function. Whenever you invoke the Lambda function, there will be a load balancer behind the scenes that is automatically provided for you by Lambda service. This is completely invisible for you as a user. 
before your request is processed we should know about lambda service reserve pool which is a bunch of ec2 machines that is maintained by the lambda service behind the scenes whenever invocation comes the lambda service pulls the ec2 machine and deploy your uploaded code on this ec2 machine and processes the request when there are multiple requests to the lambda service the lambda service pulls the additional ec2 machines to process your concurrent requests whenever there are no multiple requests to the your lambda function then lambda service put the additional ec2 machines back to the reserve pool so that they can be used by other user all these details again are completely transparent to you as a user and also it's completely hidden from you all that you need is upload some code and invoke it from an predefined endpoint that is amazon resource name we have seen how lambda function works now we we'll look into what are the other aws services that can be integrated with lambda function you can host lambda function behind an api gateway to create a rest api another option is that you can hook up s3 to your lambda function whenever a file get inserted or updated or deleted you can trigger lambda function to respond to that change and do some data processing within your lambda function the fourth option is you can integrate lambda function with the simple notification service that is sns for notification of messages similarly you can hook up also with sqr simple queue service for message buffering and event processing in publish and subscribe environment in addition to that you can use step functions to integrate with lambda for complex workflows why lambda functions are so popular since they are cost effective because they are pay as you go service you are going to pay for the duration of the lambda function runs you don't need to think of server maintenance and its cost you can easily integrate lambda function with other aws services and you are few clicks away to bring your application into production that's the reason actually i think the lambda functions are so popular compared to other aws services i'm going to make uh, more videos on aws cloud platform and its services if you are interested in to learn about aws consider to subscribe to this channel if you like this video like it and press the bell icon to get the regular updates until then goodbye